everyone and welcome to today's vlog. I can't believe I'm starting a vlog with my hair like this. I'm actually just carrying on from the vlog that you would have seen a few days ago. I'm posting this video as a bonus video this week. So in the last video I did a bit of an Ikea haul and I cleared out and sorted my cleaning cupboard because I hadn't put all of my products in there just yet like somewhere upstairs, somewhere in the bathroom, somewhere in the bedroom so I've now organised it and I like the system that I currently have going on in there. Um, I have about an hour or so before we're going to sit down and have something to eat but I just thought I would um, start to clean out the cupboards in the downstairs toilet. So three vlogs ago you would have seen that I painted the um, like wood that we're using as a shoe storage so that's all painted there's still a lot of like tools and um, decorating supplies and stuff in there that Connor needs to take to his van but I've found some baskets that we're not using for anything and I'm going to put things like light bulbs and extra cleaning supplies and stuff in them but first I need to give the cupboards a hoover and just wipe them out of any crumbs so I'm going to use the Fabulosa um, spray in the scent flowers and I'm really really surprised I like this because it doesn't smell like flowers it doesn't smell like roses or like lavender it just smells so girly and sweet and absolutely love it so I'm gonna use this and just some kitchen towel to just wipe the cupboards down yeah the reason I look like this um, it's actually a Sunday today, it's bank holiday weekend, it's the 2nd of May, but obviously by the time you're watching this video it'll be like two weeks ago, a week and a half, two weeks ago. My hair at the beginning of this vlog kind of started in a bun on the top of my head and it's just slowly, slowly turned into this. So the dishwasher is on, excuse the noise in the background, the washing machine is on, it's quite a sunny day so I have some washing outside on the line. And yeah, I'm going to start wiping up the cupboards, then I can fill it with crap that I find around the house. wiped the shelves out there's a little like sticky bit on this shelf that's not coming off but there's going to be baskets in there anyway so we've got this cupboard at the top and then we've also got this cupboard and drawer underneath here there's some cleaning stuff and some toilet roll in there this is what the shoe storage looks like that you would have seen a few videos ago I'm thinking that in here we're going to put like light bulbs some of Connor's like extra tools and screws and stuff because the place that we keep the majority of our bits and bobs is actually in the same place we used to keep it in our old house which is which is on the back of our pantry door this is actually a shoe storage thing that was from amazon and we keep light bulbs and screwdrivers and lint rollers and all random things like that here so because this system works for us we're just going to leave it as it is and then any extra stuff that we have we're going to put in the downstairs cupboard so these are just a few of the baskets that i found to put some stuff in i've given them a bit of a wipe out but some of them have got like stains of something in the bottom of them and i've just noticed that this one's actually broken but just for now until I can go to like a pound stretcher or b &M to get some more we'll just use these so whether they fit long ways I don't think the cupboard's gonna shut no they'll have to go um width ways and then this one and then this big acrylic one as well this used to be from our fridge this has also got a bit of a crack in it which is why I don't use it in the fridge anymore but it's still like usable so I'm going to pop this one on the top and then I have space along the side if there's anything else that I want to put in them so the first basket I'm going to just put light bulbs some of these were already in the house when we moved in so we're guessing that they're for some of the lights in this house so we're just going to 
keep them just in case. There's also some spotlight bulbs because we have spotlights in the living room. And then in the second basket, I'm just going to put these are some screws. These are drill fixings, no idea. And then in this one, I'm just going to put random. So there's a touch panel LED controller. This is a random uh, fused switch. Don't want to throw any of this away because obviously Connor knows what he's doing with it. So I'm going to leave it like that because I'm not too sure where all of the stuff that's on here is supposed to go. Um, so I'm glad that that's some will organise. I feel like just because things are in baskets it looks tidier. I don't know if anyone else feels like that but let me know. Hi everyone, it's the next day. I'm actually going through um, some of my clothes today. I have vacuum storage bags under the bed and before we moved house I had a big pile of clothes that I was selling and obviously when we moved we had to pack them all up and I still have people interested in buying them so I don't want to leave people waiting too long. So I'm going through all the clothes today and taking pictures of them. I had a really nice shower this morning and I washed my hair, I shaved, I exfoliated and I've actually fake tanned as well. So I've had the tan on um, for about two, three hours I think. Um, I wanted to do the tan during the day because obviously I changed the bed sheets yesterday and I don't want to make the bed all tan stained. So I'm gonna have a shower before I go to bed tonight I don't actually look that brown on the camera. Maybe if I stand in the light. I feel like my arms look brown. Does anyone else get these like marks on their arms when they fake tan? I think I have the marks there all the time. They're like dry skin patches. And no matter how much I scrub or use like a shower loofah, it's always there. And when I remember, I use like a heavy duty like emollient cream when I'm not tanned to try and moisturise the dry patch areas but it's only on my arms, on my, I don't know what you call them, biceps at the top. So if anyone else has that and they know how to get rid of it then please let me know because then when I'm tanned it's really really obvious so we're just going to have to ignore that. So this is all the clothes that are on the bed, I'm going to go through all the bags and try and condense them down because a lot of the clothes are like five years old so they don't fit me anymore, fit me anymore. I'm not going to wear them so I might as well throw, throw them away. And I'm so happy with myself for being so on track with editing. I have two videos, oh I thought that tree was gonna blow over then. I have two videos on my YouTube channel ready to publish, and this is the third one that I have ready. So I'm really pleased with myself that I'm doing so well and keeping up with videos. I don't think I've missed an upload since January. Sometimes I only post one video a week. I know obviously some people post more than that, but I don't want to commit to posting more than one and then let you down so I'd rather just post one and then more if I have more. In our room we still don't have a light, I think I mentioned this in a vlog a while ago, the main light, there's something wrong with the electrics and my um, uncle is getting onto an electrician about sorting it out so I can only really do stuff in the bedroom during the day which is why I have the windows open and I'm doing something in it now. If I have enough time, I'm also going to try and sort out my dressing table. I mentioned this in my vlog, my last vlog, that I wanted to put my makeup in the drawers and try and find an extension lead long enough to run along the floor so that I can plug my hair straighteners and my number seven light up mirror. So we will just see what I can get done. I was going to time lapse me doing all this, but I'm in like old clothes and I've got like quite short shorts on because I have obviously my fake tan drying so I'm sure you don't want to see that. I'm going to um, crack on with this so I will check back in in a second and show you guys how much progress I've made. So the dressing gown has come out. I'm absolutely freezing. It's so windy and rainy outside that I just wanted to snuggle up and wear my dressing gown. So I've sorted through the bags. I have made a pile of stuff here that I'm selling. I've also just done my COVID test because at the salon we get tested twice weekly which is um, for peace of mind. 
So this is the pile that I'm definitely selling. I also need to go through this stuff, which I think I'd like to keep, but I do need to try it on just to double check if it fits or not. But I just ran downstairs um, and I need to change our wax melts. Oh, I think my memory card just ran out, so it cut me off there. But as I was saying, I need to um, change our wax melts downstairs because they have lost their scent. So, annoyingly, all of my wax melt stuff is just upstairs in a box in the um, salon. I do need to bring it downstairs and actually find a permanent place for it. I'm probably going to go for sheer butter. That's such like a homely warm comforting smell and of course as always my faves are Wednesday Day Wicks. I have the um mixed shape bags she does so many she does the um the heart clamshells or just the normal clamshell this one is black cherry this one's super strong she also does um like brittle bags this one is aqua minerals and sea kelp yep minerals and sea kelp but i think i'm gonna go for sheer butter today i'm gonna to put some in the downstairs um i'm gonna put some in the living room and some in the one on the dining room table so come with me while we change the wax mark you can just see how dark it is in the house because it's so gloomy today this is like the most random little floating shelf that is in the living room but it's perfect because i've got the wax Bella, I've got the wax burner and a little reed diffuser. I'm gonna put one of these long ones in there and then a little heart. How cute is that? In there and then obviously the, the big one will burn down to fill that quite a lot. And then in this one on the table, I need to put away our washing. So please just excuse that for a second. This wax burner isn't as big, so I'm gonna put in it um one of these hearts this one's a bit bigger i love watching them melt so satisfying and then i'll do a tiny heart as well if any of you guys are interested in some new wax melts then please check out um jenny's instagram she also has a website as well which i'll leave in the description and if you use my code bailey10 at checkout you get 10 percent off so treat yourself or a loved one they really really are lovely and it's a really small business so I would love if you would support her so it's now a few hours later it's getting like a little bit dark outside so I'm having to slowly come to a finish in the bedroom because as I said earlier the main light is currently broken so I'm kind of coming to an end with that in the meantime I've also just cleaned the bathroom I've been giving it like a quick wipe over since we've been here but this was the first like proper deep clean where I spent like fully an hour um where I spent like an hour doing everything I will show you in a second when I go upstairs I also made a start on my dressing table as well I'm I'll show you when I go up if you can see because I don't know if you can see outside but it's getting kind of dark so I'll show you as best as I can but I wait to do like a proper dressing table kind of tour video and show you guys all my makeup because I haven't shown you my makeup in like five years when I used to do YouTube I used to do like what's in my makeup bag, makeup bag videos all the time and I absolutely loved doing it so it'll be interesting to see how my makeup style has changed over the years I need to buy some more draw dividers to go in the makeup drawer so my wax melts are still burning they smell so good smells so nice um i'm going to yeah slow down for the evening now i have work tomorrow so i need to make mine and connor's lunch bella's just currently eating her dinner down there she's just having some dinner i'm gonna try and it depends how long this vlog is i'll have to look back at the clips i filmed but i might end this vlog today um i can't even remember what i filmed oh i started doing the um covered in the dancer's toilet didn't I that still isn't finished I haven't really found anything to fill the cupboard yet so when I do I will show you a proper tour for now I shall show you the progress from upstairs 
So this is what the bathroom's looking like. I need to obviously um, wring out and clean those microfiber cloths. I'm trying not to use um, wipes anymore because they're just not good for the environment. So there's my dirty microfiber cloths I need to wash. We have quite a lot of products on the side and I know it looks quite messy but I can't just use one product when I have a shower. Um, once I've finished using those shampoo and conditioners then I will open a new one but I have a hair mask, I have a face scrub, body um, scrub, shampoo, shaving gel and then this is um, mine and Connor's basket, got some stuff on the windowsill, also the orchid lives in the bathroom for now, I'm not too sure why but it seems to be happy in here. And then the sink area over here, I love how everything's like pink, we have this um, spray that I bought from Home Bargains, it's rose scented, haven't actually really used too much of it, um, but it's quite funny. And then we've got some bleach. Um, this is one of the items that I got gifted from my cherries order. I'll always have a link in the description if you're interested to get 20% off your first um, order on the app. This isn't an ad, but I thought I would mention. It smells really nice. And then I've got my tooth um, brush. We have this mirror, like storage up here. The knobs actually come off, so we need to fix it because it's just inside here. But so far in here, all I have is my cleansing butter and a shower cap, very boring. And then we also have this under the sink storage as well, which for now I just have cleaning products. There is actually a shelf that's missing. I'm not too sure where the shelf has gone, but for now it just looks like this. We've got the scales down there. Right, so I should probably show you the bedroom now because it's get, starting to get dark. I've just hoovered all of the floor. I was trying to make this walkway um, clear so that I didn't have to like jump over the bed every time I needed to get into bed so I've just got two more boxes to move and then this is what my dressing table looks like I don't actually think I showed you a before I can't remember if I did but it had like boxes and the lamp wasn't plugged in it's still not plugged in because I need to find an extension lead but I now have just roughly put most of my makeup in the draw here as I said I need to buy some more dividers and we're still waiting for our bedside tables from Amazon they've been out not Amazon sorry Ikea they've been out of stock for the longest time so we don't have any bedside tables yet and this is what the current state of the bed looks like so all of those clothes in the va in the vacuum pack I didn't actually get around to trying so I'll do that tomorrow so I'm just going to vacuum pack it put it down there on the floor all the ones for sale are now listed I turn it around so you can see me. I tend to post a lot of my stuff for sale on Facebook, like on local buy and sell groups, because I just find it gets collected and sold really easily. People will buy like three or four items at a time, and I can, um, yeah, I'll be at home and they'll just come and collect it for free. So yeah, sometimes I put items on Depop, but I don't. I forget to check the app sometimes, which is why I tend to just use Facebook. My tan is developing quite nice. It looks really bright when I'm by the window but then the second I show you the other part of the bedroom it just looks really dark so you can't win. Um, on the windowsill I have a box here which has the contents of my bedside cabinet in. I just can't wait for them to come back in stock. I'm sure they've been out of stock for maybe like two months now or something. I actually signed up for the emails this morning so that I get an email when they're in stock because I am not paying £40 for delivery because we're desperate, but not that desperate. That's just insane. The actual bedside tables themselves are £50 each. So then to spend £40 on a bedside table for delivery, it's crazy. So I think I'm going to end it for tonight. My camera is only on one battery, so or one bar of battery. So I'm going to charge my camera. If I pick it up tomorrow and film anything, then cool. If not, I will finish the vlog and edit it here. I'm actually working all this week now until... Sunday so I'll pick up and vlog what I can I've gone out of focus there we go um so yeah I'm gonna end it and if I see you tomorrow then I see you tomorrow if not then I hope you have a good day and thanks for watching bye